exciting is it to, uh, to start your first day as chief? It is fantastic. You know, uh, I had the opportunity that many chiefs have not had in the past, and that's to be able to work with the outgoing fire chief. And that two weeks that I had with Fire Chief Pete Kelly was amazing to learn what areas he, he focused on to blend those with the focuses that I'm going to continue forward. So it was a unique opportunity that I took full advantage of to be successful. In your, in your many years in the fire department, I'm sure that you have some ideas. You know, if I'm chief, these are the things that I'd like to, to do. Are there any things that are on top of the list that, that you'd like to do? I think the primary thing that I've communicated most is that I want to be more accessible. I want the fire department to be more accessible. That was one of the things I prided myself as a captain, as a firefighter, to connect with the public. And I think that having the opportunity as fire chief opens many, many doors. Hey, they're, they're I mean, they're getting thrown into a very uh, interesting situation. Not only do we have a storm cleanup right now, but of course the drought. How do you kind of help to tackle that in the next couple of months? Well, certainly it is something that we need to keep our pulse on. And what, I, what we've been doing is preparing our staff, making sure their equipment, their safety, also is a primary concern. So to make sure that they're safe and the performance of their duties and ma maintaining our training levels and our proficiencies with the unique situations that we have from weather. Good? Good. Thank you, Amy. Sure. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I'm sure she can handle it, but still. Congratulations. Once you say, talk to the people who are there. Absolutely.